Hi guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here with a little Dollarama unboxing. There's kind of a story behind this one, but let's just quickly go through it and open it up. I've got my recyclable Dollarama bag. I've got a bunch of these. So this is just going to be a short video. There's not a lot in here as you can see. But let's pull one thing out. Well, there's three things, but two of them are the same. So let me just move the bag over for a minute. So I got these two sets of stickers. They're Easter stickers. They're both exactly the same. So let's just look at one of them. And you can see they've got cute little chicks and eggs and bunnies and little flowers. So anyway, I bought these and I'm hoping to make a bracelet and maybe some earrings. And that's why I got two sets because these two match and these two match and these two match. So I thought with that, I could make like one pair of earrings and um, a bracelet. So I think it'll work out. I'm hoping it will work out. I'll, I'll show you more when I get all the stuff out that I need to make them. But these were only $1.25 each at the Dollarama, and I thought they were super cute. And I think they're going to look really pretty if they're the right size. I don't know if they are, but that's just one little thing that I got. And the other thing in the bag is check this out. It's a printed watercolor paper pad. So, um, I don't know what that means. There's 24 sheets. Does that mean it's like a coloring book for watercolors? Because if that is what it is, that's really cool. And look at it, it's thick. It's the 300 grams. And this is size 7.8 by 11.6. And this was only $2 at the Dollarama. So let's take a look at it. I, I just assumed it was blank paper. I didn't read printed. So I know they do sell the blank paper pads at the Dollarama because I have some and they don't work great for watercolor. They do work, but like they work better for gouache. So I, I can't get these with my fingernails and I don't want to break my nail. I already broke my thumbnail. It's pretty short. So let's just try to use these scissors to start this off. Because, yeah, I did not know these were printed. I thought it was just going to be paper. So if these were printed, that would make it, it's like a little coloring book for watercolors, which will be really cool. Alrighty. Let's get rid of the paper and let's take a look. Is this going to be blank? Or is it going to be printed? What do you think? It says printed. And there is a picture of a print. That should have been my clue, but I just really assumed it was plain. No, it is it is a coloring book for watercolor. Now, you can see the paper is very shiny. I don't know if you could see that. It's shiny paper. It's thick, and it's got um, it's got a texture, but it's not like regular watercolor paper. But, you know, this will probably work great with acrylics or gouache, too, if it doesn't work with watercolor. Maybe even marker. I don't know. So this says, Make Today Great. And the back is plain, so you could just do your own design on the back. And this one says, Enjoy This Sweet Moment. This one is, The Best Way to Predict the Future is to Create It. Oh, I like that. I like that one. And here we have some flowers. It's a very, very busy print. Almost like a wallpaper. I hope you can see these okay. I kind of feel like I should be holding them this way because they fit the camera better this way, but it's an up and down one. And this is, I'm glad you're in my life. And you can see how shiny that is. And once you pop, you can't stop. Oh, it's a popsicle with some stars. So this is really cool. So anyway, um, I don't want to go through this whole one. If you want me to go through the whole thing, I will. Let me know in the comments. But let's just quickly flip through. And that kind of has a border around it. You can write your own message in the middle. 
You could probably fold that and it would make a pretty card too. If you were to fold it, you could put like a message on one side and Yeah, I, I'm showing you everything anyway, aren't I? So let's go faster. Oh, I like that deer. So you guys, this is totally a watercolor coloring book. So I got this at the dollar store, not near my house, um, donuts. This is from the dollar store down by the mall on the waterfront. I wanted to go for a walk yesterday. You guys, I got to tell you a story. So... I like to walk at a place called Whitefish Island. It's, um, there's a beaver pond. There's birds. The birds eat right out of my hands. I'll try to put a picture here if I can find one. So anyway, but yesterday, just as I was about to make the turn into where, I, where you go to park to get to that trail, I got a bad feeling really strong come over me. You ever get like a bad feeling something's telling you not to do something? And that feeling was like, keep driving. Don't go here. Go to Bellevue Park instead. Do not go here. And I didn't listen to it because I've been sick for a while and I haven't gone for a walk for a while. So I thought, I have anxiety. So I thought maybe it was just my anxiety telling me, go home. Because I get like that. So I ignored that really strong feeling. And I went to go park. And then I decided to take some pictures of a real pretty house. I'll put some pictures here of that house. Before I crossed over the bridge to get onto the trail. And as I was taking pictures of this house... A bunch of police cars went by, both OPP and the city police, and they were driving really slowly, and they were driving up and down, so I kind of freaked out. So I went back to my car, and I sat in my car for about 10 minutes, and the cops were just driving up and down. So I thought, okay, I'm not going to stay here. I'm not going to go onto the trail, because it's an island. Like, you can access it by a little bridge. And I thought, if there's someone out there hiding on the island, and the police are looking for them, I don't want to get in the middle of that. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go to the boardwalk. So the boardwalk is a real pretty a trail alongside the river right by our mall. It starts at the mall, and, and it goes like the length of the waterfront through part of our city. So I went to go drive there, and there's part of that trail that leads to where I just was by another trail, and there's a little white bridge that leads to that, and there was a cop car blocking off that bridge. And I thought, wow. Okay, so they're definitely blocking off access even to going to the, the Sioux Locks is what it's called. So I thought, okay. So I took some pictures of the water and it was really cold and, and I was worried about all these police everywhere. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go in the mall. So that's why I ended up at that dollar store, which I never go to. So anyway, um, I did go back in later and buy more stuff, but it was in a different bag because I went back to the car to see if I could go for a walk, and I was still too cold, so I just put this in the car, and then I went back to the mall, but we'll do that another day because this is already getting pretty long, but I'm pretty excited that I got um, basically a watercolor coloring book, and I'll let you know how it is. We'll try this out together. So if it doesn't work for watercolor, it would definitely work for gouache, and I have both, and I have acrylics. Acrylics work on anything. And this, and we'll do this, well, if this works, if these are the right size, we'll do these together, and we'll make some bracelets and earrings. All right, guys, so that's it for this little short one. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. Hit the notification bell. All of those good things that help me as a channel. Thank you so, so much for your support. And let me know in the comments what you would have done. If you saw all those cop cars, would you have, would you have gone for the walk anyway, or would you have done like I didn't leave? <laughs> all right, guys. Take care. Stay safe and happy crafting. Bye.